Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We are going to provide a demonstration of the Exostar Secure Access for M365 product. In this video, we will go through some introductory material, including introduction and solution overview. We will lay out the roles and actors used in the demo, along with the user stories that we're covering. We will then do the product demonstration and finish with a summary. As an introduction, we are demonstrating the Exostar Secure Access for M365 app. The solution is an Exostar developed app that complements the Microsoft M365 suite, formerly known as Office 365, which is deployed almost everywhere. The objective is to simplify management and security of external partner collaboration use cases for our target customers. The application supports both Exostar issued credentials and credentials from other third parties, i.e. enterprise customers like Merck or Boeing. The app can be deployed in any M365 cloud. We're targeting commercial cloud for our life science customers and GCC high for our defense customers. Release one of the app is focused on supporting the MS Teams use case and uses an Exostar managed M365 tenant. As a solution overview, we have created tenants in M365 managed by Exostar specifically for external partner collaboration use cases. Customers or sponsors access these tenants with their existing M365 enterprise credentials using Azure B2B. Partners already in M365 can also access these tenants with their existing M365 enterprise credentials, again using Azure B2B. Once in the Exostar managed tenant, customers have access to the Exostar Secure Access for M365 app, which is used to create teams with specific security policies applied. Additionally, the app has the ability to invite users from the Exostar Identity and Access Management portals, i.e. SAM for Life Sciences and MAG for the Defence Industrial Base users. The app currently has four roles. The Exostar admin, this is Exostar engineering responsible for backend server uh, tenant setup and configuration. We have the sponsor admin. This is a primary customer IT function who is responsible for day-to-day -day administration and team creation. Then we have sponsor member. This is a business end user from the primary customer or sponsor organization who wishes to collaborate with others. Then we've got partners and guests. These are end users from other organizations that are being invited to collaborate with the sponsor. For the purpose of the demo, we've got the following users. We've got Bob. As the tenant is already configured, this guy is not required today. He's busy keeping the server lights on. Then we've got Adam Admin from Acme Company IT function. And then we've got Meg Member from Acme Company Business. Then we've got Sam, who is an Exostar IAM user. She's going to be invited as a guest. And then we've got Fred, who is from another authorized uh, IDP, who will also be invited as a guest. Before we start, I want to explain some possible user statuses or scenarios, as we will use each of these during the demo. We've got one secure access member. This is a user who has previously been invited to the Exostar tenant. This user can be invited to Teams as a member. Today, this will be Adam Admin and later join the demo, Meg Member. We've got Secure Access Guest. This is a user who has previously been invited to the Exostar tenant. The user can be invited to Teams as a guest. This will be Fred and Sam once we invite them. Then we've got Sponsor Domain Users. These are users not in the Exostar tenant, but whose user domain is the sponsor. These users can be invited to Teams as members, and this will be Meg initially. We've got Federated Partner Domain. This is, this is a user who is not in the Exostar tenant, but the user's domain has been federated for partner access. These users can be invited to Teams as guests, and this will be Fred initially. Then we've got Item 5, Domain Not Federated. This is a user uh, that is not in the Exostar tenant and the user's domain has not been federated for access. Um, so they, they, they will not have access. A future feature uh, of the app will allow the, the uh, admin to configure these domains. Then we've got found in Exostar. 
This is a user not in, in the Exastar M365 tenant, but the user has an Exastar account and the user's org has been subscribed to M365. These users can be invited to Teams as guests. And these will be Sam initially. And then finally, we've got not found in Exastar. These are users that are not in the Exastar tenant and do not have Exastar accounts. The user's organization uh, may be in an Exastar identity access management portal, um, but they would need to have an account created before they can be invited to Teams. So in the demo, this will be Nora. So just to cover what we're going to cover in today's demo, uh, we're going to go through uh, use of the Exastar Teams management app. We will walk through the team creation module, including the security that gets applied. Uh, we'll show the example uh, questions which are, are used to configure the team. We will then move on to the user invitation module and work, walk through each of the scenarios with the users from different identity sources and see the associated not notifications they get. And then finally, we'll look at the team's report as it stands today. Okay, so we'll now go into the demo. So we're going to log into Teams um, using the standard Microsoft login. So I'm being prompted for Adam's email address. This is his Adam Spark email address, uh, enterprise credential. So this is his login for Acme company and password. And you can see that Adam is now logged into his home Teams tenant. So this is Adam logged into Acme company with the with the Acme Teams and the associated Acme channels. And you can see the company, Acme company up here. So this is Adam's home tenant with Adam's home enterprise credentials. What we now, now can see is that um, Adam can switch tenants. He can switch to the Exastar managed tenant, which he's a member of. Before we do that, I'm just going to open Adam's email because we're going to want that later. Okay, then I'm going to switch from Acme Company into the Exostar Managed Tenant. So there's a couple of things to note here. You can see that you're in the Exostar tenant because it indicates indicates so up here, and you can also say I see our different set of um, uh, different sets of teams and different sets of channels. It's also you can also note that the Exostar app is automatically pinned to the left nav bar for authorized users of that app. Uh, and then for security, if we look at the standard out of the box team creation. Uh, functionality that's been deprecated um, by design. So no, in normal Microsoft Teams, you would have a team creation box here. We've taken that away to force enforce use of the app. So if we go to the app now, the first page you'll come to is the landing page. So this is essentially a support page. It will provide user information, level of authentication, potentially links out to supporting information. Uh, and then the first feature we're going to look at is the create team module. And this, this create team functionality is only available to authorized users, which in this case is the customer admins. So Adam being a customer admin or sponsor admin, he has access to this team creation module. And you can say we'll give the team a name, product demo three. Um, and you can see some questions that are asked around the security of the data. So in this case, public or proprietary uh, and a team duration. It's worth noting that these are just examples. As we move forward, we'll have additional questions and they'll be, you know, they'll be configurable. I'll go ahead and create the team. Okay, so I get the acknowledgement back that the team has been created. And it, we've been sent an email to confirm the details. So if we go and look in Adam's email now, you'll see the emails come in um, and it confirms all of the details of the team that have been created and it includes the other uh, sponsor admin users.
Okay, so if we go back into Microsoft Teams now, we'll see product demo three has been created. This is our new um, our new team. You can also see that that team uh, is a private team, so by default that's uh, that's set to private. If we go into the team, you can see for the for the purposes of this demonstration, the only channel that's been created is the standard uh, the standard default general one. But again, these could be temp templatized going forward with a set of um, a set of channels based on the, the questions asked or that, that kind of configuration. So if we're going to manage this team now, you can see that um, you know, the information we specified when we created the team, so proprietary data and duration of 12 months is included in the, in the heading there. Um, and you can see the only owner that's been added is Exastar Teams Administrator. Um, and this is this is just just a service account. So the purpose here is not to add um, not to add the sponsor admins or other members into that owners group for security. So we don't want we don't want to create a team with a certain policy and then have some owners go back and then change it thereafter. We want to force people to use the app. So the only owner that can be in here is the service account. If we expand the members you'll see the other sponsor admins there. So Adam was the sponsor admin that created the team and then the other sponsor admins are also listed there. Okay, so that's our team created. We're now going to invite some users. So we go to the invitation module. And we're going to um invites a user so whilst the user interface here looks very simple all the complexity is hidden for the end user they simply need to uh, enter an email address so in this case we're going to invite meg member and when we look meg up you can see that she's part of the sponsor domain so she's part of acme company and that means that we can then invite her into any of the teams that we like and we're going to go with our new team product demo three You'll also see that the only selection I have is member. Because she's part of the sponsor domain, she can come in here with member permissions. So we'll go ahead and add Meg. Okay, and Meg will now have received an email. Another thing that's worth noting is uh, if, if you want to check on what any of the status messages mean, there's a quick key here. It goes through all of the secure access member, guest, sponsor domain, federated partner domain. There's a key to it there. Okay, at this point, we're going to switch over to Meg. So as Meg, I am a member of the Acme tenant. This is my home tenant where I do my day-to-day -day business function. And I also have opened my inbox here where I can see my mail and I've gotten two emails. One is an invitation to access applications within Exostar. So this is a one-time email when I've been invited and added to the Exostar tenant. And then the second one is the invitation to the team that was just created. So I've got an invitation saying that I've been added to a team and if I wanna go ahead and access this team, I'll go ahead and click here. And I'll be prompted to sign in using my ACME credentials, which I'll go ahead and do my username and password. And accept that just one time terms and conditions that standard Microsoft. Now I am <clears throat> dropped here into the Exostar Managed Tenant where I have access to the team that I was just invited to and can begin collaborating. And you can see that when I'm ready to go back and do my work within my home tenant, Acme company, I can just switch right back to the tenant. I have access to both now. Back to you, Adam. Okay, so we'll go back to uh, Adam. 
Okay, so we're back in the um, Extrastar Secure Access for M6, M365 app as, as Adam Admin, and we're going to invite another type of user, um, which is somebody who's not part of the sponsor's domain, but is a federated partner, so somebody who's already federated. So what we can see here is we're inviting Fred here, uh, who's, a, who's a partner um, with federated access already from Azure. So I can invite Fred into uh, the same team. So we're going to go for product demo three. And you can see that Fred is a guest because he's not a member of the sponsor's domain. He's a, he's a partner who's federated from Azure. So I'll go ahead and submit the invitation. And again, I get the confirmation back and, and Fred will have got an email. So now if I go and have a look at uh, the team, my product demo three, we can see that Meg has been added as a member and this unknown user will resolve to being Fred as a guest shortly. So you can see uh, Meg has been added as a member and Fred has been added as a guest. So if we go back to the Extrastar app and the invitation module, the next person we're going to invite um, does not exist in Azure. They've not been set up as a federated partner, neither are they part of the sponsor's domain, but they do have an Extrastar account. So we're going to look up Sam and it says here status found in Extrastar. So she has a Exastar Identity and Access Management account. So we're going to go ahead and invite uh, Sam to the team, product demo three. And you can see she can only be invited as a guest. And again, acknowledgement back and email will have been sent to the user. So at this point, we're going to switch to Sam. As Sam, I have logged into my Exostar account and I, at this point, have no applications. Once the invitation process is complete, I should have a new application that appears underneath my list of applications to which I have access. Since I've been invited to collaborate on a team within the Exostar Secure Access for M365 app, the application appears now in my list of applications. I'll go ahead and click that and put in my Exostar credentials. This is my Exostar username. And from there, I'll be taken right into Microsoft Teams. The first thing I'll do is accept that one-time terms and conditions from Microsoft. And now using my Exostar credentials only, I'm able to uh, come right in here to, to Teams in the Exostar Managed Tenant. And I have access to the, pod, the Product Demo 3 team that I was invited to. So I can go ahead and upload files and do regular collaboration activities. What you'll notice, however, on the left nav, because I'm a guest, I do not see that Exostar app pinned to the side because I'm not authorized to perform functions that are offered by that app. And back to Adam. 
Thank you. So the next user scenario we're going to consider is uh, is somebody who does not is not a federated partner. Uh, they're not part of the sponsored domain, and um, but they are part of um, an organisation that's been subscribed in in Exostar. So in this case, Nora, you can see not found in Exostar. So what that means is her organisation, she's part of the same organisation as Sam, um, is subscribed to M365, but she does not have a user account. So in this in this example, we can't add her to a team, and we can't add, you know we can't choose the role. Um, future functionality would be routing her down the onboarding process from from this, from this screen. Okay, and then the final two things we want to look at are Meg and Sam again. So um, Meg has, has now been invited as a guest into the Exostar tenant. So when I search for Meg, um, I can see that she is now um, a secure access member. So I could add her to a different team if I wanted to. And then if I look up Sam, who's been invited as a guest, you can see she's a secure access guest. So again, I could invite her as a guest to other teams if I wanted to. The next thing we're going to look at is the Teams report. So this module would essentially be um, the audit reporting for Teams, showing who's created the team, when they were created, the type of team, that kind of information. Again, this is, this is placeholder for, for right now, just containing team name, description, type, and the date and time of creation. So that essentially concludes the demo of the um, Exostar Secure Access for M365 app. So I'm just going to flick back to the presentation. OK, so to summarize the demo, we have covered the following user stories or scenarios. We've covered authenticating to Exostar's managed tenant from the user's home or enterprise credentials. We've created a team using Exostar app, which would apply a specific configuration based on the criteria selected. We've shown that a team is security trimmed, i.e. there are no owners, and the default Microsoft out-of-the-box team creation features are restricted. We've shown use of the app invitation module to invite users from the sponsors domain as members. We've shown use of the app invitation module to invite users from another IDP or federated partner as guests. And we've shown uh, inviting users from Xstars identity and access management platform, MAG or SAM, as guests. And we've also shown the prevention of inviting others that are outside these approved scenarios. And then we looked briefly at the team's uh, reporting stroke audit capability. So thank you for your time. Thank you for watching the video. That, that concludes the video. At Exostar, we build trust.